What is up guys? My name is Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're gonna go over how to make a ceramic bong. These are super easy, a lot of fun to make, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first is you're gonna need clay, obviously. So I like to start out with two pounds of clay for a bong and that will give you usually a pretty good size. So let's go ahead and get this clay ready. All right, we got the clay. I actually used about three pounds. I felt like two pounds is gonna be a little too small. So three pounds of clay right here. And let's go ahead and throw this. this looks to really good shape uh, so right now we just have to let it sit maybe a day or maybe a couple hours if I put a fan on it and then I'll come back once it's leather hard and add the bowl and the stem piece and I'll show you how to do that and then we'll have basically the outline of a bong and then all I need to do is be glazed and fired and we're good to go all right so it is the next day I let this dry overnight and now it's a nice good leather hard stage I trimmed it up a little bit so it looks looking really clean so now the fun part which is to add the bong piece to it there's a few different ways you can do this I'm gonna make this the easiest way which is you're just gonna make a ceramic bong piece and bowl like a stem and then a carb bowl you can make it so you have like a separate bowl piece but you have to get the measurements correct and deal with the shrinkage of the clay and all that it's a bit too complicated for me at the moment so we're gonna do this the easy way. So first you gotta get some clay. And you're going to get a nice piece and round it out to make your bowl. So once you get a round piece, you're just gonna go around and make a little pinch pot to create that bowl piece, just like so. So it's looking like that. And go ahead and make this as big or as small as you want. Alright, so that's kind of what my bowl is going to look like. It's going to sit right there. Okay, so then I'm going to go ahead and make the stem piece. I'm just going to take a piece of clay and make a coil. Take a piece of wood or some wooden object and go through the coil to make the stem. You want to make sure it's centered as good as possible. Okay, so now we have a coil. We're going to go ahead and attach this coil to this bowl. Also, you need to make sure you put a hole in the bowl as well. Hole in the bowl. So then you're going to go ahead and score and slip your bowl and the stem so they are connected or able to be connected. And then I go ahead and put the piece of wood through the stem in the bowl as I'm connecting it to keep the structure so it doesn't kind of fall apart on you or lose the inside and then you're just going to connect them okay now that that's all connected you're going to set it to the side and then you're going to create a hole in your bowl kind of decide where you want to place the bowl and dig a hole Now your stem might be too long, so you might need to cut it down a bit so it fits in there nicely. <clears throat> okay, once everything fits in there nicely, go ahead and score and slip this and attach it. So then there's a nice tight seal there. If you're worried about the seal around here, you can add a coil to make sure it's extra tight. And the last important part of this is to add a carb hole. So I usually put the, I usually see where my finger's gonna sit when I light it. 
and then I will add the carb pole right by there. It's usually gonna be somewhere near the bowl, obviously. And boom, now you have yourself a smokable bong, which is pretty awesome. I would leave the wooden piece in here while it dries, just to make sure that stem part doesn't uh, sag or anything or lose its shape. And then you're good to go. Go ahead and glaze it and fire it, and then you'll have yourself a working bong. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.